So a friend of mine asked me to do an impeachment video. He has a YouTube channel. I'm going to link it. Genuinely, one of the honest, most honest YouTube channels I've ever seen. I love it. It's great. So I encourage you to go over there, click on it, watch a video, see what you think, subscribe. Um, he does a really good job given what he's doing. So he asked me to make a, a impeachment video, and I've stayed away from the impeachment. I've talked about other things. The I've stayed away from it because I don't like it. Only from the aspect that it seems silly to me. And about 10 minutes ago, I read that he'd asked me to do this. And so things are going through my brain. And I tried to grab onto the things that seem most important about this impeachment. And my observations are not important. Take, make of them what you will. The first thing that I think about this impeachment was the impeachment bar is set so low right now that it almost seems like a waste of time to me. It's late on Wednesday night, so according to the news, the House impeached Trump. The Senate will not move forward with this. I wouldn't be surprised if they make a motion to dismiss it right away without hearing anything. Because it's a Republican-run Senate. And the Democrat vote for impeachment was mostly Democrat. I bet Justin Amash and maybe one other guy, one of the Republican voted for it. I haven't looked at the numbers, so don't hold me to it. But when you have a partisan, corporate partisan situation, you're not going to get the truth out of anybody. I listen to a fair amount of it off and on because I'm not working much this winter season. Um, and I, I would hear one side say the same thing over and over and over through different people and I heard the other side over and over say the same thing through different people because that's their job they got nothing else to do they're they're up there you know making money and they're not really worrying about managing the country obviously so that's what I think about the two parties in DC another thing that I thought about this impeachment I watched it on a YouTube channel that allowed comments which was kind of fun to me because both it was very partisan the comments and not very intelligent unfortunately but in a lot of cases it was just you know troll stuff impeach 45 and then the other one said trump 2020 and no real substance so i wasn't i'm not denigrating their opinion but there wasn't real substance in the comments much at all but the thing that i did notice is both sides both self-proclaimed democrats and self-proclaimed republicans believe they were right so they're both looking at the same thing seeing two different sides which happens a lot but at some point there's got to be a factual basis where you can call it what it is and i didn't see any of that in this impeachment it makes me wonder if we have any objectivity left in the united states and i don't think so i think sadly we're a culture of you know smartphones instant gratification a brainwashing program given to us through schools by the central government through media that makes us makes people want to have a side without really considering the actual truth of a situation because you can have an opinion about anything which most people do but at some point there's a truth about a situation somebody did something some president broke into some hotel to steal stuff and got caught, that's that's something you can actually quantify. So I thought that was interesting. Another thing that I really found interesting was, from my own view, this administration has not done anything more heinous than almost any other administration since I've been alive. The president or the administration, it's not the president because one guy doesn't, you know, Trump's not running stuff. Obama wasn't running stuff. They're the front man. They're the spokesperson. Some of them do a good job. Some of them trick you into believing something, and that, you know that's what they do. But the previous administration really racially divided our country by always bringing up race. They also pushed through laws like the Affordable Care Act, which is a direct violation of the Constitution. The one before the him, he led us into a war where thousands of U.S. soldiers and nearly a million Iraqis were killed. 
and he wasn't impeached for that. I think that's more the, lying to get you into war would be more treasonous than a high crime of withholding borrowed money to a country that you want to supply arms to so they can fight with you know the big bad Russian bear who's apparently the worst thing in the world. That's what they tell you. I don't buy it personally. Um, most of it's horse shit, but the uh, administration before him, quick think, oh yeah, he uh, he kind of, what did Bush do? Well, maybe he was responsible for JFK. We definitely know he ran the second half of Reagan's administration, which traded arms for hostages and did some other dirty dealings. Oh, Brother Bill, Brother Bill Clinton. Yeah, he was impeached for lying to Congress, or lying under oath. My apologies. Um, but he started a little war in Bosnia, which got hundreds of people, thousands of civilians and hundreds of soldiers killed. And there was no impeachment for that. So maybe Trump should have started an illegal war and he would have been okay. They might have left him alone. The one, the arms for hostages with that guy before him. Carter didn't do anything other than not give us the metric system which turns out to be a detriment when you know people who use the metric system. The guy before him didn't do a heck of a lot. The other one probably had his buddy killed. Nixon definitely broke the law and was in, and resigned and left office. But the legacy of these administrations, you know, nothing really to be proud of. And so one more criminal doing criminal stuff doesn't surprise me in any way at all. The other aspect of this that I thought was really interesting, I watched the people on the House talk, and they all claim that we're a democracy, which is wrong. Technically, we're a republic. Maybe they're not wrong because the republic's dead, and it died in 1946 when the Administrative Procedures Act was put into law in violation of the Constitution, basically starting a fourth branch of government and giving power to administrative agencies above and beyond Congress. Congress has abdicated their role in truly defending the Constitution, or they would scratch that law out. They'd get rid of the FBI, the NSA, Homeland Security, Department of Education, Department of Agriculture. None of that stuff would exist under a true Constitution, which we don't have. So I think there are some perspectives necessary from you know, anybody's standpoint, you can look at something and not like it, but that doesn't mean it's not what it is. So I hope the nation doesn't devolve into tribalism on two sides of a ridiculous fake political system. It might. I'm watching Virginia right now and their proposed gun laws with the new governor and his staff have pushed sheriffs and counties to actually pass laws reigniting militias. So that might be interesting to watch. That, you know, might be the next shot heard around the world. I don't know. I, I We live in crazy times. This impeachment didn't help anybody. It might have made some of those Democratic lawmakers feel better, and it might have made the people that voted for Hillary feel better, but it's not going to advance our nation in any way, in my opinion, and none that I can see. If I'm wrong, I'd love to hear it. I hope somebody could tell me. So, I think that's all I have. Thanks for listening. I know this is way longer than I normally do, and I apologize. But, as always, love to hear your comments. Have a great day.